Right, so we're going to do the behind the neck press here, okay, as the name suggests, we're doing an overhead press, but we're doing it behind the neck, okay, so this is an exercise that does require um, a requisite level of shoulder mobility, so you need to be able to reach back into this position to be able to do the exercise properly, but if you are able to do that, it's a really effective exercise for working the shoulders and for strengthening those shoulders in a position that you don't often get them into. So if you're playing a sport, you know, it might be baseball, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, uh, tennis, any type of sport where you have to get that shoulder into a position um, at its extreme range of motion. If you want to develop strength here, this is a nice exercise to bring into your arsenal, okay? So first things first, we're going to take a wider grip than we normally would for a standard overhead press, and that's going to make this exercise easier to perform. You're going to place the bar on your back in a squat position, and that's the position from which you're going to press, okay? Pressing up overhead, Again, this is all about control. Controlling down into that bottom position, finding your end point. The bar doesn't necessarily need to come down to rest every time. Even just stopping it at the upper part of your neck is absolutely fine. And that just allows you to have some point of standardization as you perform each rep, okay? If you find yourself really having to, you know, contort your body to get the bar up, or use momentum, um, this mightn't be the best exercise for you, or you should just start by trying to control it a little bit more. That's really what this is all about, is control, pause, slow change of direction. That's how you'll get the most out of this exercise, and it's also how you'll get most comfortable with those ex more extreme ranges of motion, okay? So that's your behind the neck press. Again, remember you have to put the bar back again, so put it back into the hooks, let it down and then you're done the exercise. So that's the behind the neck press. Remember, excellent one for developing shoulder strength, but especially for exposure to those positions that you mightn't always get into. You can see that there are some similarities there with the dumbbell um, overhead press. So if you were trying to progress to this exercise, for example, you might start by doing a dumbbell press in which you just keep the elbows flared out a little bit more, and that's one way of progressing on uh, towards an exercise like this.